feel sorry for my neighbors. It's like 8 a.m. and we're taking this today. It's gonna make a lot of noise. I cleaned the car yesterday, so it's spotlessly clean. Cleaned the inside, outside, cleaned the engine bay, everything. But I think it's about to rain. We're still gonna take it just because, you know, these cars are meant to be used whether it's raining or not. But it is a bit annoying that as soon as you clean the car, it's straight into rain. Okay, let's pull it out and then, uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, boom. Okay. Today's gonna be like a classic vlog. You're just gonna come with me all day. I'm gonna bring the camera wherever I'm heading. First stop actually is a car dealership for a meeting. Stars Monte Carlo. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you've probably seen content at theirs before, but it's kind of nice because we'll be able to see if they've got any new stock as well. So we're heading down there and then we'll see where the day takes us. There's a few plans and I'm just gonna vlog most of it. Also, by the way, the reason I'm not really driving too fast, one, because we've got morning traffic, two, because this engine takes ages to warm up and, you know, these sort of earlier Ferraris are quite fragile, so you don't wanna bash into it straight away. But I am in manual mode, always. I don't think I've ever driven the car without having it in manual. And also, valves open. If I was closed, I only really do when I'm coming home late or leaving early because I don't want to wake the neighbors up like this morning. But yeah, or else always valves open, manual mode. It's the only way you should really drive these cars, I think. This is what it looks like when you're daily driving a Scud. Honestly, at the moment, I'm really rarely taking the Twizy and it's just so hard to take the decision not to take this car. But yeah, basically when I'm here, when I'm down south in France, we're daily driving the scud and honestly it's really usable ish as soon as we switch that off it makes a lot less noise oh it's close yeah ish. <sighs> okay right you guys know stars monte carlo quite well i've done a few videos here driving a delara actually like this one behind me. But as we walk in, there is a Vanderhall. Beautiful, you guys, again, you must know this car really well. Uh, we just had our meeting, really good meeting, and uh, now we're actually gonna take one of these out. So I'm gonna put the Instagram to Vanderhall down below because, uh, yeah, anyways, they make some awesome, awesome cars. Really, really fun. I still, to this day, think the most fun I've had behind the wheel of a car was this during Top Marks. Uh, right next to that, we've got an AC Cobra. Beautiful Cobra. Classic for either, that is just ultimate class. Delara number one, there's two of these here. Hardcore race car, effectively. Um, looks awesome in yellow. And then there is another Delara right around there, but right now what they're doing is they're actually putting stickers on another Vanderhall, which we're gonna be taking out with the Stars Monte Carlo logo and Instagram and everything. I'll show you that after, because we're gonna be putting them on. And then we're gonna take that car out for a little spin because they've updated the engine inside, so it's got 50 more horsepower, so I wanted to just give it a go. So I figured I'd take you guys along. So there we go, look at this. We're putting these logos on, so that's that's obviously the Instagram, stars.montecarlo. Pretty easy one to remember. That's the logo. We're putting another logo up here. So the cars are prepped and ready. We've actually angled it this way so that when people are walking on the side of the road and they take photos of the car, boom, angle straight towards them. Um, so yeah, and then now this is the serious one going on here on the side. You're an expert. You've done this before, haven't you? Thanks. Yeah, <laughs> this has been really quick. I would have made a total mess up of this. So have a look at this steering wheel on the Cobra, right, 69. Then, if you come by, well actually, I'll just show you this one. The Vanderhall has exactly the same steering wheel, which is a pretty cool touch. So this is a 2020 car, and that's from the 60s. And they have exactly the same steering wheel. So when you're driving this, it really feels old school and really classy. Nice detail. Wow. Yeah, yeah. it's cool though. Really nice. This is my view right here, but completely open. I can I can touch the road and that's the exhaust right there. But yeah, we're going to the port here in Monaco now in this beautiful 2020 Vanderhall. It feels so cold and also, I mean, this is February. Yes, we're in the south of France, so it's warmer here than in general, but I got my heated seat on. We got the heating on full and it's actually fine. Really usable in this weather. And you just feel so classy, it's such an occasion. But I know it's really about the stars down a few times there so at a thousand followers and I reckon we can get them maybe past the thousand so the the Instagram is going to be down below and I think it'll be quite fun to get that account past a thousand because they post some really cool stuff and obviously allow me to do cool things such as driving this so I want to return the favor but yeah anyways we're now going to be able to go see this car in the sun with the red interior and this beautiful spec I love these kind of days <laughs> Parce que on a fait que ça plus 
Right, well, you maybe just saw, I'm not sure how much of that I'm going to be allowed to show you, but we just got stopped by the police who gave us a 100 euro fine for parking in the spot where literally everyone who comes to Monaco parks to take photos. It happens, but it would have been nice to have a little warning and then know not to come back next time. But nope, 100 euro fine from now on for anyone who goes there. So if you uh, are coming to Monaco and no longer worth going to the port to that spot to take photos because you will get a 100 euro fine, as we just found out. So yeah, anyways, apart from that, just thought I'd show you the car. It is a beautiful Vanderhall Venice. Nice little details like you can see the light through the grill there this one's got black calipers brembo brakes beautiful black rims so you've got little yellow accents there on the front wheels and then in the back they're little red accents and then white color obviously white paint and two seat configuration you can get some of these in a one seat configuration this one's got the diamond stitch red leather interior nice little details like down here that's your heated seat which you just control through that and then here you've got your what do you call it uh heating there we go no aircon. Well, I mean, there may be aircon. I'm actually not 100% sure, but I don't really see why you'd need it necessarily. And this one's actually got keyless go. That's something new they've done for the 2020s that weren't on the other ones. And 190 horsepower. This is also for the gearbox, so you can put it in manual mode. So you change up by pushing down and you change down by pushing up. But yeah, awesome car. So nice little break from, from the day to come drive this. Now we're going to do a couple photos and then head back to the dealership. Okay. Open the valves, of course. Oh, yes! That noise is unbelievable. Oh, my God! Unbelievable! What? There's often nice cars here. 20, Aston, Bentley, Aston, McLaren, Bentley, very nice. All right, we're home. Fun little drive back up. The car actually looks really nice and clean. I spent hours yesterday cleaning it all by hand. I don't know if it comes across on camera, but the car is pretty spotless. It feels so good to have a nice clean car like that. I didn't film it. I kind of just wanted to have the moment and enjoy it. So just cleaned it yesterday. I even cleaned the engine bay. I don't know if you can tell that's all spotless in there now. And I did the interior as well. So like hoovered everywhere. Did the back of the seats, everything. So it all looking in tip top condition. We still even got the um, ear protectors right there because the car's so bloody loud. Anyway. It was a lovely drive. Now it's time for lunch. Had a lovely quick lunch, a really quick, about half an hour, yeah. in and out. And then I hopped back into the 430 again. I was like, I probably it would make more sense if I took the Twizy, but I feel like taking the scooter. I'm just gonna go meet up with a friend to check a car of his out. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest, what he what he's brought. So we're gonna discover that together. We're going to this place called Tête de Chien, which literally translates to Head of the Dog. Go figure. I have no idea why. And it's a spot where we are often do some filming. So seeing as the port is obviously a no-go now, we decided to meet up here. There's some nice driving roads around just to have a chat, catch up, see the car. So that's what I'm doing now. Huh. Uh, this is interesting. Right, we've been joined now with this beautiful C63. I'm gonna put your Instagram down below so people can find you. Race driver, so knows how to pedal this thing. It looks awesome. Beautiful matte gray color, which you waited six months, you said? Yeah, six months for the painting, so pretty glad I got it now. Yeah, yeah now you've got the car, and these things are awesome. I mean, especially this with, look, carbon around back there. You got the contrast, red calipers. There's more carbon around front. It's also got what they call the Panamerica grill, I believe they call it, this new grill. And then carbon here, awesome. I mean, congrats, man, this is a beast. And then inside we got so the yellow stitching the bucket seats of course, which looks so cool These are just such a nice design They really nailed it with this and the panoramic roof and with the new ones a few things have changed So the steering wheels changed so you've got these new kind of touch buttons here And then everything's controlled down there through those buttons. So I'm just gonna press the start button there we go. You got a white key, which is a really nice detail. And then you can see, so it's all digital now, the dashboard, whereas before it was all analog. Now it's all digital. And then here, this little spinning wheel, kind of 918 styled, you can change between modes. So you can go Sport Plus, you can choose how much, you know, if you want the traction on, off, exhaust valves open or not. V8 by turbo, about 550 horsepower on these, so over 500 horsepower, rear wheel drive, absolute beast. And you can change a few different things through these touch buttons. And no, it really looks cool, this interior. Also, a new screen there, so the screen's quite a lot bigger. So really 
really subtle changes on this facelift, but looks awesome. And then you got, oh, you got the Burmeister sound system as well, if my camera allows me to focus. There we go. Burmeister sound system. Really, really nice. So I think we're going to go drive, take me for a spin. I think it's going to be really good fun. Here we are now. We've just come to like these little roads. We're so lucky to live close to this tiny little road right outside of Monaco. Oh, yes. Feeling the full 500 horsepower. We're driving with not much traction on. And you guys know that these things uh, can be pretty tail happy, these C63s. Oh, that noise as well. <laughs> the issue is when you've got a bus like this coming the other way. But yeah, the sound is awesome. V8 twin turbo. I really like this as well. Kind of like this like dark wood stuff. Yeah. Really cool. But yeah, no, awesome, awesome. Uh, the, spec, the spec is really cool. Yeah. Right, it's awesome. Oh yeah. There you go. There's an exhibition of the lack of traction we've currently got. Yeah, it's quite damp here. Yeah, it must have rained up here. We've come quite a bit above Monaco. Oh, yeah. These things are awesome. I mean, the fact that you can basically daily one of these and then come to a road like this and drive it the way it is. And you've got instant power with the twin turbos. Oh, and those pops and bangs as well. What a car. Anyways, we're just going to drive, cruise, enjoy. Just thought I'd share this little experience with you guys. Awesome stuff. That's that then. We're done and we're back in the Scuderia. It's been an awesome day. I hope you enjoyed just following me around and running a few errands today. I'm now going to go have dinner with a friend. But uh, it's been a really fun one. I hope you enjoyed it and that you will be back soon to watch more videos. If you haven't already, why don't you click that subscribe button. It's just right underneath. And then you'll be notified every time I put a new video of this style up. And we'll be able to go on a few adventures together. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll be seeing you very soon. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.